Yes. Yes. F3 is titled Speaking with Conviction and the purpose of this speech is to explore speaking with sincerity, conviction and persuasiveness. The speech title was quite intriguing, Shoes. Where are we going to go with that? And it was quite evident from the start where it was going. Horses. And we know, through experience, from the speaker, she's also a known horse lover. So we probably understood where this speech was going. It was a good opening. <coughs> the horses were initially food. But then they were domesticated and used as transport. And that was quite clever, wasn't it? Because if they were used as transport, we probably all think the ignorant people amongst us probably think, well, all horses are shooed, because that's, that's what they do. Farriers, blacksmith. But it was how they were developed. And the Romans used to shoe their horses with rudimentary fabric shoes. And this was important as they roamed through Europe. But also when they were in the stables, because the urine would have got their feet. So we started with a well developed argument from the initial start. The speaker then turned to some of the disadvantages, but what the harm it does to the horses. So remember we're speaking about an F3. This could have been an opportunity to show some more emotion and persuade, it, persuade us that shooting horses was not necessarily the right way to go. But it harmed the horses. And the barefoot horses would walk up to 35 miles to forage. And indeed, Shoeing them would restrict the blood flow and put pressure on the feet. And the speaker had a very good opportunity to really show us with some conviction. She never shooed her horses. But she did. But did she say it with that conviction that persuaded us as a horse lover that that's what she did John because it wasn't a good thing to do <coughs> so overall I think this was a very good competent well delivered speech I like that this speaker enunciates and pronounces a diction is very good and very clear initially I think she started to rush the speech when she got into it, she came down and the delivery became more, sm more smooth and well delivered. There was good gestures. I like the Mustang roll <laughs> and the feet. But a tendency, like myself, is to go a bit overboard with the hands because I don't know what to do with them. So I think it's a good learning point to know, yes, the feet, the Mustang roll, but know when to and when not to emphasize your speech. The, learn the other learning points was um, the salutation. The time, good time, we were a little bit over for a competition, but a minor point. And I think, as I said, going back to the F3, you had many opportunities in there to show some of your passion and your emotion, particularly if this was something that you, you knew about, you were passionate about because you were a horse lover and owner. And as much as you had the words, it was maybe on the delivery that you could punch through a little bit more, as I suggested. But overall, a really good speech. Well done. This isn't um, graded. So you can move on to the next level. Okay.